there welcome to the channel thanks thanks for watching thanks for joining me today um, I've had quite a busy week this week's been pretty crazy um, I mean Monday I had the training day the training day is always pretty full-on for me like non-stop sort of talking all day um, then Tuesday I had this treehouse clean it was pretty unusual sort of job to do and it ended up being a little bit bigger a little bit more involved than I really sort of expected um, but I got that done then we had a big roof clean me and Riley went out on a roof cleaning job I didn't even film it I didn't take any pictures even um, me and Riley both got there and were like oh this job's quite big and it was a patio we had to clean as well we were like not sure if we can get this done in the day but we went for it we got it all done so that was really good but quite a busy day again and so now um, this is the job for today it's a shared driveway um, the customer is actually paying for the whole thing even though part of it is next door uh, it's a rental property apparently but he wanted to make sure it all got cleaned all that got cleaned up the same otherwise it would look odd with a line halfway down it so yeah it's really good of him um, quite light coloured blocks so they'd probably look grubby quite quickly um, and you can see in the sun here it's such a nice sunny day but I think it's going to ruin my footage as I do this job to be honest it won't look as good with the shadow on it um, but you can see I think it's actually this side of the driveway that's looking dirtier and you can see it probably sits damp the way the sun shines um, this side is more shady so that probably encourages the algae to grow that little bit more as whereas this side's relatively a bit lighter already um, but the customer also said they keep their cars parked on here whereas this side doesn't get used so much so that probably contributes as well um, it's a little bit protected from with the cars there but there we go we'll clean it up see see how it turns out Okay, so I'll show you this so far. I've just given it a quick rinse to remove that surface muck. It's quite mucky actually. Um, but we can see down here it's still some black spots, especially over on the kind of shady side. Um, so what we're going to do now is treat the whole area with the chemical to kill off that algae. And I always include the chemical treatment with every job, every cleaning job that I do because um, it doesn't just help us get the surface clean but it kills off that algae, um, the spores that might be in the surface. So that's really what's making it look dirty is that algae growth and um, even the pressure washing, even if it looks clean, there might still be spores in the surface. So we always include the chemical treatment in the cleaning process, it helps us get the best results but it will also kill off any organic growth in the surface which is what will make it look dirty again um, if you don't kill it off it can grow back quite quickly so by using the chemical treatment it doesn't just help us get the good results but it helps the surface to stay cleaner for longer hopefully that's that's the idea anyway um, so it sort of depends on the situation of the drive how shady it is 
that kind of stuff as well but it's just a way of being a bit more thorough about the job um, so yeah we're going to do the chemical treatment here and because there still are quite a few black spots in certain areas we'll go over it again with the flat surface cleaner it'll help us to get rid of all of that and uh, get a better result and then over this side um, this bit's come up quite nice and red and then we've got basically three different colours of uh, block paving really I've got to rinse this area a bit better again and then we'll do the chemical chemical treatment So a couple of things I can tell now has come up much cleaner that second time over um, so that's really good it's a real shame that I'm not gonna get to clean this wall because that would obviously make a big difference to the area but um, it's next door's wall um, it's not part of the job I'm not being paid to do it so uh, unfortunately I'm not gonna clean it if it's if it's not uh, part of the job really um, but a couple of things here there's some spots of paint down here looks like when this has been painted perhaps um, some paints got on the driveway I think what I'm gonna have to do in future I need a chemical paint remover to really remove that um, and what tends to ha happen is I usually wait for the customer to say oh there's a stain on the driveway can you make sure you can remove it and I'll say yes there'll be an extra charge for that using a chemical treatment um, but sometimes yeah you get to a job and you don't really notice these things until you start cleaning it sometimes you get it with oil stains as well maybe there's one or two spots of oil on the driveway so I think I'm gonna have to keep some of these chemicals on the van I think on the new van I'll make sure I keep um, some of these with me at all times so then I can just say during the cleaning process oh I can remove it there'll be a chemical and a little extra charge but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what I call now a heavy rinse so I use the turbo nozzle it's very heavy duty but just being very careful uh, I use it to rinse around the edges as well and um, I'll have a go with that at the, some of the paint spots I might be able to remove it and uh, I've got to do the front step as well so we'll do that and then we'll see what it looks like
So there we go then, that one's all done. Just pop back to finish it off with the sand. Um, always included in the price, we always finish it off with resanding. Um, just makes it look good as new really. So they were quite light colored blocks. So once the sand was done and it was all cleaned and dried out, it came up really nice and bright. Made the area look uh, look bigger, I think, once it was all nice and clean. So that was really good. And all the front area there all got cleaned up the same. Um, nice sort of red pathway. Three different colors of blocks there in the end. But um, yeah, it looked really good. So pleased with that. And um, the customer was really pleased with the result we achieved as well. Might even get a few of the neighbors. So nice job. Good end to the week. Really pleased. Uh, got through a lot this week and uh, I think I've deserved a little bit of a, a day off. Um, the rest of my muscles ready for another busy week next week. Thanks for watching. Um, check out the links in the description for more information about the training, the podcast, and really appreciate it if you subscribe. And then maybe I'll see you on the next one. Take care. All the best. Bye for now.